We're here at Life, the Universe, and Everything for Utah Book Scene. And I'm interviewing Dave Doring to ask him a little bit about the conference. And now the thing I want to know, Dave, is when people come to this conference and then they leave, what do they get out of it? What's, what kind of responses do you get? I think people are uh, wanting to learn the art of creation and that is our focus here. Our programming, presentations, panels and workshops are all about how to take the ideas in your mind, the emotional experiences and to create a vicarious event for the reader or the viewer. And we are obviously uh, seeing a surge of Utah writers and uh, creators on the national scene. And I'd like to think that the 60 plus authors we have here uh, represent you know, part of that wave of learning how to do their craft professionally. Thank you very much, Dave. Well, on to our interview. Hi, this is Susan Phelan, and I have the pleasure of interviewing David Farland today. Welcome, David. Uh, David is, you've got over 50 books out, is that right? Yep. And he's been on the New York Times bestseller list. You've had uh, quite a few honors, so we're really excited to get a chance to talk with you well, and you. let the readers get to know you a little bit. Mm -hmm. This is your newest book, mm -hmm. Nightingale. Uh -huh. You want to tell us about it? Nightingale is a, a book about a young man who um, is abandoned at birth uh, here in Utah and he's raised in foster care, kicked around from home to home because he's a little bit too strange uh, and also a little bit too talented. And he goes down to, uh, to southern Utah and uh, when he's 16 he's kicked out of his house, goes down to go to a new school, meets a teacher who recognizes that he's not even human. She's what he, he calls a nightingale. He's been left to be raised by his own people among humans so that he can basically find out what they're like. And so it's about him discovering who he is and more importantly, what he is. So now I might get, I'm, I don't know all the fantasy things, but does that make him a changeling? Yes, uh, that would okay. be the proper terminology. He's a changeling. Uh, but the idea is that, you know, it used to be that 40,000 years ago, humans and Neanderthals lived side by side. As a kid, I used to think, wouldn't it be cool if there were Neanderthals living up in the mountains in, you know, in Siberia or something like that? And so I took that idea and I said, you know, what if there were stranger things even living among us that were also had, you know, evolved side by side with mankind? And so that's what, that's what I started playing with. Okay. Now this book has won a ton of awards. Do you uh -huh. want to tell us about some of them? Yeah, it's won uh, a number of awards. Um, I, I only put one little sticker on it for the Hollywood Book Festival for Best Book of the Year, but I also won the International Book Award for Best Young Adult Novel of the Year. Um, and I've won uh, Next Gen Award for Best, uh, or, or uh, as a finalist for Best Book of the Year. Um, won the International eBook Award uh, and uh, London Book Festival and New England Book Festival and uh, several others. I oh, can't remember wow. them all. Oh, that oh, so many awards you can't remember. <laughs> yeah, but well, it was it was fun because I've I've won major awards with a lot of books, but I haven't won a lot of awards with any one book. So it's kind okay, of fun so to win kind several of cool. awards. cool. It makes you yeah. oh well, you know, when you hear it from one, well, that's great. But you hear it from a couple of people, it's like. Oh, yeah. I really have something here. That's so exciting. And it's a young adult novel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, who's going to be interested in it? What kind of a reader? This is, you know, okay, years ago, um, I had one of my students was a young lady named Stephanie Meyer. Okay. Why does that name sound and, familiar? Uh, yeah, she's, she's pretty familiar. Um, and we were talking about what it would take to write the best-selling young adult book, you know, of of your time and uh, we talked about what kinds of things that she'd want to do with Twilight and I got to thinking gosh I want to do something like that I've had this idea for a young adult novel kicking around so this is kind of a, a young adult novel but it's more for boys than girls so if you are a uh, young male you're interested um, but also girls because I write from two viewpoints um, and so uh, I'm getting really good responses from everybody from the age of 13 on to uh, 50, you know, and male and female. 
Um, I've had a lot of men who write to me that say, say things like, you know, I couldn't stop crying in the end and Aww. things like that. And that's really great to hear. That is neat. Yeah. Now you mentioned that you also teach writing, which I know because I've seen you teach writing before and, uh -huh. and appreciated some classes that you've done. Uh -huh. Tell us a little bit more about your teaching and writing. Okay, well, if you want to find out about my classes, I, I, teach, uh, I teach writing workshops at uh, www.davidfarland.com. Uh, you just go to that address. Um, and I teach all sorts of things because I am the coordinating judge for the Writers of the Future contest, which is one of the world's largest science fiction and fantasy writing contests. Uh, so I do a lot of different types of workshops. I do about half a dozen a year, but once I get done with those, you know, I don't have time to do any more. But, but six a year or so is, is about right. So do you start to regret your teaching because it takes away from your writing, or do they feed each other? I think it feeds each other. You know, I, I um, began writing, and when I was young, I used to think, oh, I've got all these cool new ideas about writing, and I want to be able to try to codify them and, and tell other people. And so I began working on uh, writing books on writing, and I have a couple of books right now that are on the Amazon.com bestseller list uh, on, on writing. writing textbooks. Yeah, and so um, I started doing that, and I just really found it was fun. You know, writing is kind of a lonely business, but teaching writing workshops lets you get to meet other writers, uh -huh. and we all have something in common. We all like to write and, and like to read, uh, and like to read, and we're uh, you know, so it's just really fun to sort of get you out of the house. But at the same time, you can kind of control it. If I were to teach writing, at a, I used to teach writing at the university level. If I teach it at the university level, you've got to be there all the time, and it just takes over your life. But doing it the way that I do, it allows me to have kind of the best of both worlds. And you have taught more than Stephanie Meyer, uh -huh. well, that's one famous student. You have also taught Brandon Sanderson, Brandon Sanderson. And Brandon Mull, and, and Brandon Mull, and uh, Eric Flint, who's a New York Times bestseller, and Sean Williams, who's the best-selling author in Australia, and uh, a lot of people, a lot of other people too, uh -huh. um, who are international New York Times bestsellers. Some of whom I don't name because they don't want, uh, uh -huh. you know. It's, it's always better if it looks like you just came out of nowhere. Yes. And oh, I you were just born, born knowing it all. With all this talent. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Honed on, knew the skills and not just the talent. That's well, right. Okay, let's have a quick plug for Rune Lords. The Rune Lords, yes. Okay, that's okay. your other big series. Yeah. I know you've done, like like we said, 50 books, yeah. so you have a lot of my, uh, my Rune Lords fantasy series is. Um, uh, a medieval fantasy so series for fans of uh, Tolkien or mm -hmm. something like that, um, and uh, it's in its. I, I'm finishing up the ninth book, the final book in the series right now, so the series is just about to come to an end. Um, we have a uh, an offer of full financing for the first Rune Lords movie, oh, and so exciting. we don't know if that's going to come about yet, but. Um, it's looking really interesting and really good. And if that happens, then that'll be great. Um, that'll be wonderful. That's yeah. very exciting. David, thank you so much for giving us some of your time here and, and talking to us about your books. I, I'm, I'm fascinated by Nightingale. I'm going to have to see where I can pick it up, Barnes & Noble or wherever. It's on Barnes & Noble. It's e-books. It's e also a bestseller. your favorite it's, independent bookstore. It's an enhanced novel uh, through uh, for the Apple iPad. And uh, it's got a nice review last week called the ultimate enhanced ebook uh, oh, in, cool. in the country so That's I thought that was neat. great thank you so yeah. much this is Susan Phelan we were talking with David Farland for Utah book scene thanks for watching